Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and what I got for you today is a review of the new Bolon K901 Steel Ranger. My God, that, yeah, I got that right, 901 Steel Ranger. Now, the interesting name is Steel Ranger. Um, they even have a picture of Iron Man on the cover. I, I'm sure it was an authorized picture that they got on the cover of their box. But, why well, they call it Steel Ranger? Well, this seems to be aluminum, not steel, the top of this. Uh, stamped aluminum, which is interesting, very very thin sheet of stamped aluminum for the top. Uh, <laughs> that not a, you know that gives a little more extra strength, I guess, than the plastic. But actually, what it's really cool about it is that you can get the shiny colors that they put on it. Uh, I mean, this one, I got the gold one. I think they got a blue one and a red one. Um, so you know, it just looks kind of nifty. With it shines in the sun, as you can see here. Um, it's powered by Triblade props. Um, it does look like an old X8C, except much smaller than the original um, X8Cs. Or, do I got that right? <laughs> I, I forgot. You, you guys know what I'm talking about here. The uh, H8C. H8C. I'm sorry. Um, looks like an old H8C. But, again, it's much smaller than the old H8s. Uh, it's powered by... Now, the H8 was powered by 7.4 volt battery. This one is powered by just a... Standard uh, micro, you know, SEMA X5C 550 milliamp per hour battery, so you can easily get spare batteries for this on the market cheaply and quickly. Um, they're available just about everywhere. And it does have an on-off switch on the back. Now, one other thing, it has a uh, connector here. You can attach a camera, I guess, to this if you can get it on these clips here. And there is a camera control plug right there, so you can't add a camera I think they were playing in a camera version for this but this release here they did not include a camera but it does have camera control supposedly through this button here to operate video and uh, take a photo by pressing it that direction there and you can change the rates on this by pressing this button here do flips by pressing this button here telling them which direction to flip and it does have headless mode and one key return which you activate by these buttons here so that's the controls in a nutshell Let's power it up and see how it performs. Turning on its transmitter, or turning on its power, and turning on the transmitter. And why isn't the transmitter coming on? There we go. I guess I had a bad battery connection. <laughs> That's how you fix it, folks. Okay, before we take to the air, I want to test one thing. Let's put it there, and give it a little bit of throttle, and turning off the transmitter. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, about five seconds. So, you know, keep it up wind and you shouldn't have a problem. <laughs> okay. No altitude hole on this. This is strictly manual flying. We are in low rate. Intermediate rate. Beginner and intermediate, that's all you got, two rates. We're going to fly at an intermediate rate. I'm going to go over here into the field so we can try its features. How about the flips? Oh, it does flips nicely. With that in mind, how about doing acrobatic flips? Coming downwind. we got a wind pick it up. That's why we're going over to the field here to get away from the trees. Okay, let's bring it in closer <laughs> for my fans who like to see it in close. I'm sorry. <laughs> the boat on. Steel Phantom. <laughs> it does a little bit of a weird forward flip. Let's try it side flips. Going up that way, coming down, going to do a side roll flip. It tries to uh, level itself off after a flip. So that kind of makes it hard to do, you know, acrobatic rolls. So if you're going to do flips, you're going to be stationary flips. <laughs> See that wind blowing it away from me? Going back upwind. Again, you know, this is powered by 
CMEX 5C battery. So you should be able to find lots of spare batteries for this. But I wouldn't recommend back-to-back -back flying because you will burn out motors. <laughs> I would recommend letting it cool down between flights at least 15 minutes. Um, its lights are blinking. I don't know if that's LVC warning. I don't think that's LVC warning. I just flew another Bolon here recently, uh, five minutes ago, just before this. And the other Bolon's lights were blinking too, the whole flight. Yeah. It's decorative blinking. It changes different colors. So, again, it's been as a night flyer, too. Let's just rotate it. Okay, headless mode. We haven't de demonstrated that. Which way is headless mode? Oh, no, that's not headless. Yeah, forward. <laughs> yeah, I just get so confused. So I think that direction has got to be headless mode direction. I got pretty far away there, folks. So that must be the headless mode direction. Because that, I was pointing right, yeah. With that in mind, let's go that way and press one key return. We got a headless mode. Headless mode is you push upward and that enters headless mode. So the other direction must be one key return. So let's go over here and press one key return. That's a <laughs> unusual coming out of that. No, I think headless mode direction is that way. I'm getting confused, folks, with the headless mode and one key return on this, so I'm not going to mess with it much more. Um, it, it supposedly has it, but it, it's confusing to me. Pushing up enters and exits headless mode and pushing down enters one key return let's do the one key return there we go okay I understand it now so let's go there one key return here comes this one key return it thinks that direction is the one key return direction it does it very slowly so I recommend not doing it <laughs> two beeps headless mode one beep is one key return and again this is headless mode activating it and pressing it again, it's out of headless mode now. So let's keep it close for the rest of the flight here. Just to show it up front, up close with the mountains in the background. The Bolon K901 Steel Ranger. <laughs> Bolon, a new player in the field of quadcopters. Their first two quadcopters, the 901 and the 950. I've flown them both today. <laughs> but both of them seem to be for beginners. Learn to fly quadcopters. I wonder how much weight savings or weight extra you get by using aluminum top. <laughs> I think aluminum would be heavier than plastic, but it does look cool. It certainly does look cool with a metallic cover on the top. And I'm running out of power, folks. It's I'm almost full throttle. That's it. <laughs> it lands itself sort of on lower battery. So that's the Bolon Steel Ranger, the K901. Uh, interesting quadcopter. But more or less a beginner's learn to fly quadcopter. Yeah, its lights are rapidly blinking when it's on low battery. So, hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101. Let me... Get an, one more thumbnail picture here with the sun glinting on it. Quadcopter 101, signing out.